Hello all, today we are going to see about random forest algorithm. Random forest is a supervised machine learning technique that constructs um, multiple decision trees. So uh, to understand, uh, to get a better understanding of a random forest algorithm, it is advisable to know first about the decision tree algorithm or the cart model we saw earlier. So, um, uh, so it's better to uh, go back and uh, know about it and uh, come back. So yeah, so uh, so this forest is comprised, as, as I said earlier, this forest is comprised of many decision trees. The final decision, so the final decision here means a classification problem or a regression problem is made based on the outcome of what majority of the decision trees make. So that's what uh, random, th that's what the crux of random forest is about. So we'll see how that, um, how that is done uh, in this video. So let's look at like why at all we need a random forest uh, in the first place. So uh, why because like uh, we are uh, decision trees suffer from low bias and high variance. We know what is a low bias. So low bias means like the, um, the, the model is able to fit, uh, the model uh, is uh, able to accommodate the training data well. But high variance means like the performance is good for the training uh, data set. Whereas the performance gets low for the test data set. So that is high variance. So the low bias is a positive thing, whereas the high variance is not so. So this random forest introduce, introduces some flexibility and converts this high variance factor and uh, converts the high variance factor into a low variance one. So that's why this uh, random forest is opted over the decision tree. Why? Because a classification or a regression problem while when done with a, a decision tree is like uh, depending on a single tree. So whereas in this random forest relies on many uh, trees, so which will introduce some flexibility and randomness also. We will see what this randomness means uh, uh, shortly. So that is giving the high, uh, um, high uh, I mean uh, low variance instead of a high variance. So that means like your decision tree is a overfitted one. So whereas the random forest is not so. So let's uh, look at the algorithm step by step. The step number one would be to construct a bootstrapped data set. So what does bootstrap data set means? A bootstrap data set is, not, is, com, uh, is constructed by um, picking uh, randomly, uh, ra by picking the data randomly. Uh, I, I mean, as a sample, uh, we can also have duplicates from the data. So that's what we call it as random sampling with replacements. That's what a bootstrapped data set also means. So let's uh, take this a uh, small example. In real time, uh, this uh, would be a larger one. So for simplicity, we have taken uh, a small example. So this is a training example. The first four column um, is the uh, attributes and whereas the final one is the, um, the final decision. So what this example says is that the, 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 if a patient is uh, having chest pain, which is, he's not having no means like he's not having a chest pain, and he's not having a good blood circulation and he's not having a blocked arteries and his weight is 125 kgs. I'm sorry, I missed this kg here. Then he will not have a heart disease. So that is the final decision taken here. So we are, this is a classification problem we are going to look at it uh, today. So this is the original uh, training set. So what we are going to take uh, from out it is a bootstrapped data set for constructing a random forest. So these are the abbreviated ones. I've just uh, made this way to uh, due to the lack of space. So CP means chest pain, GBC means good blood circulation, and BA means blocked arteries, and W indicates weight, and uh, and HD indicates the heart disease. So uh, how this uh, we'll see how this bootstrapped data set is uh, constructed. So I've included the first row here. I've also included the second row here. But I have not uh, included the um, third row here. W what I have done is I have just duplicated the second row. So the fourth row is taken as such. So I have skipped the um, third row. Uh, so this did not get into the training set uh, at all. So we are trying to uh, make out a, a random uh, sampling so with replacement. With replacement means we have uh, duplicated. That's what it means. So this is uh, a bootstrapped data set. This is how we construct a bootstrap data set. So this is step number one. So it is to be noted that the randomness number one, so involved in finding the, uh, constructing the random forest algorithm is the um, construction of bootstrapped uh, data set. We randomly take out the 
sample. So that's the randomness number one. Uh, we are involved in uh, building the random uh, forest. So the step two would be constructing a decision tree using the bootstrap data set. So we have come up with a table. For that table, we will construct a decision tree. So here while constructing this decision tree also, so in the cart model which was uh, uh, taught earlier, so we will uh, we will look for, we will uh, uh, pay attention to choose the candidates which uh, goes to the no, uh, root. So we have four attributes with us now, chest pain, blocked arteries, weight and uh, uh, the other one uh, but uh, which goes to the root so the which goes to the root is the best candidate which will partially uh, which will uh, um, which will pa uh, uh, partition the data well so that's how we selected the root node so um, and we'll also seek the help of uh, genie index for that but here what we are going to see is that so we have uh, uh, these four uh, attributes with us so we'll randomly pick two attributes and we'll find the best one and we'll choose that as the root. So this is the second randomness that is going to get involved in the construction of random forest algorithm. So after selecting the root node, so at each step of tree construction, the similar way, so we did in the decision tree algorithm, so we randomly pick two candidates and we select the best. So we'll construct uh, a decision tree uh, for that uh, bootstrapped data. So step three would be we will repeat step number one and step number two again and again to generate a more number of decision trees so or the desired number of decision trees we are interested in forming so uh, for uh, so these could be the just uh, so we uh, so these three trees could be generated out of that uh, four uh, 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 i mean uh, of, the, of that original data set so which these three uh, trees are built from the a bootstrapped data set uh, which are randomly sampled. Our training is over with the uh, construction of decision trees. It is now time to test. So uh, the, uh, let's say this is the test uh, data we've uh, got. So a uh, patient is not having a chest pain, a patient is having a good blood circulation, a patient is having a blocked arteries and weight is 178. So uh, what is the uh, decision? So uh, will he have the heart disease or not with the uh, these uh, attributes so what we need to do is that uh, uh, let's say we have uh, seven uh, decision trees but three was only shown but still if we um, uh, if we just think we have seven uh, decision trees with us with us and if we need to run this uh, test data or this uh, test data on each of the decision trees let's say we have five uh, decision trees which are spitting s yes, and two decision trees which are spitting no then we'll only consider the majority of the deci majority decision uh, taken by the decision trees so we'll classify that we'll uh, take a decision that that patient is having a heart disease that's the that's how this works so this uh, this is uh, how this random forest works so this method of taking many base learners so here the base learners is nothing but the decision tree so each decision tree is a base learner and we've taken so many base, base learners and we have aggregated so aggregated mean aggregating the decision so what we are doing is uh, we are taking the cumulative of the um, uh, um, the majority decision uh, this uh, method of uh, doing is called bagging so a method of uh, uh, taking many base learners and aggregating the decision is called bagging so the randomness, so we can uh, see uh, two types of randomness involved. So one is uh, uh, forming the training data set, so forming the bootstrap data set, that was one randomness. And uh, um, this and the other randomness uh, which we saw is in the randomly picking the uh, attributes and constructing the decision tree at each step. So this randomness, this randomness is actually uh, introducing the flexibility to the random forest compared to the decision tree. And this is only um, contributing to the accurately uh, accurate uh, prediction of the unseen da uh, test data set so you remember we skipped the third row uh, third row of the uh, training data uh, the original training data uh, while constructing the bootstrap so we may have missed so many uh, actual training samples so the, so that uh, so, so this is actually making the uh, random forest to work well for the unseen test and also that aggregating so that aggregating is actually introducing uh, uh, the flexibility again so which is actually increasing the accuracy uh, in predicting the um, unseen uh, test data well when compared to the decision tree so why the, the individual decision tree is uh, overfitted and it is it works well for training data so that is overcome by the 
uh, random forest. So this is uh, actually involving the low variance. So, so low variance means like you have a good amount of accuracy in uh, training uh, data as well and when you run a test set also it gives a good accuracy. There is uh, less variations between the um, training set and the test data. So that's what this low variance means and that is uh, given uh, by the uh, uh, random forest when compared to the decision trees. So this is about uh, random forest algorithm. Thank you.